Vision Quest. Kyle, not only is Ultron returning, James Spader is coming back to voice Ultron. This is coming to us from The Hollywood Reporter. Uh, Sorry, I just I just had to do it for Ultron. Have I ever Exciting. told you I hate you? Many times. I know. So, <laughs> Kyle, Ultron returning. Now, they say in the article, Jim Spade is returning to voice Ultron. So, I can't, I can't imagine he's going to be there in a mocap suit or anything like that. He might not even be a physical form. He might be just something in Vision's head. We don't know yet. Which, I'm sorry guys, I've just spoiled the entire Vision Quest uh, <laughs> show for you all. Could Does... be. I mean, you don't know, because at the end of Age of Ultron, they leave it very open to, yes. to the prospect of, you Ultron know, return. he doesn't, yeah, Vision doesn't seek out to sort of destroy, and, you know, as much as I love Age of Ultron as a movie... It really does feel like after you've seen the film, it's yeah. like, fuck, they've yeah. really wasted Ultron here. Kyle fact right now. Kyle actually enjoys uh, Age of Ultron more than the original Avengers. I do, yeah. I just think it, movie-wise, it's just a lot more entertaining for me. The, the first Avengers film, the things it does, it does it very well. You know, bringing the team together, the whole yeah. shield stuff. I just think as a movie, I don't think it's that great. But Age of Ultron was just a lot more entertaining for me, but when it comes to the actual sort of like the lore of the Marvel, yeah. uh, Marvel bits and bobs and the characters, it gets a bit mushy. Um, but you know, it is what it is. It I, is I still, what it is. Kyle, I still enjoy both films. Someone who has been very disappointed with the Disney plus outings of Marvel, like yourself, um, does hearing that James Spader returning as Ultron, does that kind of get you a bit more pumped for Vision Quest? Do you feel a bit more excitement towards this project now? Because this is something we thought they weren't even going to bother doing, but it seems like, you know, they've got the showrunner from uh, Picard, season three, doing it, which Kevin Feige said he saw and he absolutely loved. So is this, does news like this kind of think, you know, get you like, okay, now I'm listening. Now you just need to... I'm going to say no. Um, if you asked me, you know, just after uh, WandaVision came out, I would have been like, yes, yes, yes. Which we thought while watching WandaVision, we obviously wasn't filming at that time. We, you know, didn't have a channel at that time. We really thought while watching WandaVision, when we saw White Vision in that post credit scene, was like, oh, do you think James Spader's going to voice him? Or at least Ross Marquardt, who did the... No, he didn't. No, he didn't do the Ultron voice at that time, did he? Uh, what if came out way after um mm. one division so yeah it's we really thought is james spader gonna do the voice of ultron here that would be amazing as white vision so yeah 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 when when it comes to the disney plus stuff i've not been amazed by a lot of it and it feels like a lot of the stuff they put in these shows you know, like cameos and things like that, they just feel a little bit like, eh, okay, but the show's still not great. You know, She-Hulk is a prime example. You've got fucking Daredevil, Charlie Cox's Daredevil, showing up in the, in the you know, the OG classic comic book costume. That stuff is great, and I don't doubt, you know, Ultron popping up in the show is going to be great to see, but it's just the whole show around it. It's not... Well, if this is coming from I'm... The Hollywood Reporter now, I, and not like a scooper... This would have been in, you know, from a source from within Marvel. This could possibly be like a season, you know, long, like a season regular, like a character in it, maybe not just a cameo. I'm expecting, I'm expecting a full, in being a full character in the show. I mean, that's great, but you know, you've got, you know, characters that have, uh, you know, like the the Disney Plus format isn't good. Um, it's it's never been good. I think the only time it's worked was literally with WandaVision. And I think, uh, I'm, you know, I'm being real here. The reason why I think we appreciate WandaVision so much is because it was the first bit of Marvel we've had in such a very long time. Yeah. Obviously due to the pandemic and, and other bits and bobs. Um, and, and it being the first TV show, you know. Up from Marvel, not not we've had Daredevil and all that. I'm I not want, discouraging that. I want to give it on its merits well, as well, though. I think One Division is really good. Yeah, no, it is, 
and it we it didn't I think follow we that it normal too much. didn't follow that normal TV format. It had its own format. It were nine episodes, it not, not six, and it was like it, right. This is. It worked. Yeah, it was definitely part of like how the show worked. I, I get that. It's just. It felt like it set the trend for a lot of stuff, you know, having like a secret villain that you don't fucking announce yeah. till the end. Um, just the runtime for certain episodes wasn't that great, you know, even throughout other shows as well. Um, it, it's just, yeah, it's 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 difficult. I, I, I want to see this. Obviously, I love Vision. Um, I think the character's great. I've been waiting to hear about something with his character for a long time. We all have now. Since WandaVision... Um, so it'd be, it'd be really nice to, you know, get this yeah. show out there. I'm more excited for this than I am. Agatha, sorry, I, I just... Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, vision. I'm not, I'm not pumped for Agatha. And like, I, we, we've both been saying it kind of feels like the end of that Marvel era of, like, th- that's just Disney Plus everything. Do you know what I just thought? Um, I don't know if this is, like, this is just me. I don't know what Vision Quest is going to be about, but, you know, you've got WandaVision television so vision quest it sounds kind of like video game esque so is that what they're gonna try to tackle in this no. maybe or something like that no is it, what, is, what is it gonna be about uh vision finding himself in the suburbs of california fuck off yeah okay whatever um i, I i'm i'm all for vision returning i just think it's it's one of those it's it's a shame that it's in this format. That's that's how I you, look at it. And yes, I'm all, excited to see Ultron again. Ultron, yes, but I feel like the time of Ultron has long passed. Yeah, the, uh, the age of Ultron was definitely like nearly ten years ago. A week. Yeah, <laughs> it lasted a week, and it was nearly ten years ago. Yeah, <laughs> right. Uh, but yeah, I look. I'm pumped for James Spader coming back doing this, even if it is just voicing the character. He doesn't need to do the mocap, even though his performance, you know, even if he does like the voice and just does like facial mocap, not like full body mocap, I'd be happy with that because even though Ultron's a robot, his performance did come through in that CG character. So, yeah. Yeah. Especially when he gripped up Vision. Uh What, Vision, or is that Ultron? He's got his nutting face on. Oh no, it's Infinity War. Uh, sorry, when... it's Infinity War when Vision gets his nutting face on. When, yes, uh, Ultron. I mean, uh, Ultra Vision. Mm. That's the next show. That's what it should have been called. That sounds so much better. <laughs> Ultra Vision. Yep. Yeah, right. Let's let's keep moving. Wow, wasn't that a great video? Would you agree, Kyle? Yes, you should definitely give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed. We are now late night TV talk show hosts who say subscribe to our channel after video because we are cool. Oh, fuck yeah, that's kind of what we're doing, aren't we? Mate, just commit to it. Oh, no. Uh, But don't commit, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Right, thanks for watching. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah.